everyone, Jorge Lina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you've watched all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. On today's video, I have a really cool comparison. I do wanna talk about it, but I am going to be comparing the Gucci Jackie and the Coach Hamptons bag that I have been obsessing with. So there have been a lot of talk about this bags, these bags being extremely similar. So I wanted it to just put that to the test and see how they compare. If you are interested in that kind of content, I would love it if you stuck around. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't joined my community by hitting that subscribe button, I would so appreciate it if you did. I am getting really close to that 2000 mark and so incredibly unbelievable that we are anywhere close to that. So, if you haven't and want to do me that solid, amazing favor, if you enjoy handbag or teacher content, please make sure that you do. But that was a very long-winded introduction. Let's get to the handbags. Okay, so first, I do want to just show them to you side by side, and then we'll talk about some of the specifics of each bag. I will say that upon looking at them in person uh, and side by side, I don't think the similarities are as much as I thought. Um, so I do wanna share, this is the Gucci Jackie. This bag does not belong to me. So this is my sister's bag and um, I she graciously uh, agreed to let me uh, use it for this. I won't be using it, I won't be carrying it. I will just be doing this comparison and then giving it right back to her. Um, this is a beautiful bag. I have obsessed with this bag since my sister got it. It is a beautiful, beautiful green. Uh, everything she wears this with looks amazing. Um, my sister is very much like me in terms of loving handbags and using them. So not buying to collect, but buying to use. Uh, but she is a lot more thoughtful, I want to say, uh, than I am. So she has more of a variety of brands. I stick to Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton because that's what I like. And she has more of a collection of different brands and she loves them all the same. So this is one of her bags that, um, the re this is actually the reason this bag and how much I loved it is the reason why I wanted the coach one when it came out recently. And this is like, those. these colors are just me. Uh, when this one came out and she got it, they had this beautiful pink, which Coach has a very similar pink in this style. So I'm debating whether or not I do want to get the pink one. I don't wear a lot of pink, despite that being my favorite, uh, like one of my favorite colors, pink and purple. I love them. I love looking at them. I just don't wear a lot of it. So I don't know how it would go in my wardrobe, but I am really enjoying the Coach one. All right, so with all of that, I am going to share the measurements of this Coach Jackie in the size small. I'm gonna put the measurements up here on the screen because I do have them, but <laughs> I uh, didn't memorize them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them up there, but you can see the uh, length, the height, the uh, depth, right? That's all included here in that uh, picture that you see here, so again, this would be the length, this would be the height, and this would be the depth of the bag so that we can then compare it to the Coach one. The way that the Gucci one opens is with this awesome clasp here. It actually looks a little like convoluted and hard, but it is actually a very, very smooth open. So when you click on here, it just pops out and you just, tug on it up like that. I did try doing it one-handed and the way that it hangs on me, I wasn't able to do it, but um, it does come with this additional strap so that you can make it longer and it can go cross body. So I'm gonna try that right now on camera. I am making a note of where my sister has hers. So she has hers in the middle because when I return it, I wanna make sure that I return it uh, exactly how she wants to use it and not how I wanna use it. We are um, very different <laughs> in size. I am quite bigger uh, than she is. So yeah, we wanna be using it in the same place. She's pretty petite. So again, it has these three 
and hers was in the middle. So I'm assuming this would go like that, right? You would put this piece. Oh my goodness, it is tight. This is really nice leather, by the way. Um, I am not going to fast forward this or anything like that, edit this part out, because I just want you to see how long it actually takes if you do plan on putting this on. Um, the coach, the coach, the Gucci Jackie does have a lot of different options too. It retails at over $3,000 though. So it is a quite an expensive bag. All right. So this is what we have so far. This is how much you have to play around with this. I'm trying to go as far as I can. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different adjustments here. Uh, I could tell that my sister has used it in these two because of where she has marks on there. So I'm going to try it there. I'm going to try it on where she had hers. Again, so that I'm not messing with anything because this is not my bag. So she had it in the second to last. Oh, come on. It's because the leather is a very stiff still. Even though it's soft, like and the leather's really nice, it's still, it's a very stiff um, leather. Which just means it's very secure, right? So this is how she had it. Again, I can tell based on the markings. This is how she had it, and I think this is actually gonna work nicely for me. Yeah, this would actually work very well. Um, I, all right, so in this camera angle, you can see Right, this is how it would hang. And I think this would be okay. I could make it go a little bit uh, further down if I wanted to. I am five foot two for reference, <laughs> very large chested. Um, so I'm trying to do this one handed and it definitely works. Like look at how easy that was. So to get in and out of the bag, it is not hard at all. I am talking to the camera. I know you can't see my face, but uh, very, very easy to do. So super, super smooth, open and uh, close. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that, uh, seeing my body, you know, I don't really like to show it, but anyway, that's that. And I think it was important for the, <laughs> for the content. So yeah, this is a very, very cool handbag. Right now, what I'm going to do is because I am going to bring out the coach one. I want to say that my sister has had this for a solid two years and she has worn it quite a bit. Um, there is a lot of, um, tarnishing on here and I'm assuming from opening and closing it can you see how it's like discolored um so but I would say that's normal wear and tear you actually can't see it there is actually uh discoloration on the button here from opening and closing it and um there's discoloration on the sides here um so she does wear this bag and it does it has not softened over time so it is a very hard uh leather but it does feel really comfortable against the body and it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i have been with her when she has received compliments for the color of the bag and how stunning it is um so it really is a super nice handbag what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna put the strap back i won't do that on camera because it just took ages to put it on uh, so i'm going to take it out and then we'll talk about it more in comparison to the coach one which does not have an additional strap so in the coach one this is all you get so i do want to like the comparison to just kind of be fair in terms of what you get all right it took just as long to get that strap off than it did to put it on um so great quality leather it's amazing um, it is, it is stiff, but I do, again, it, this is not a complaint, right? It is a definitely like comfortable, it's a comfortable strap, um, either way, but it is, it was really hard to get in and out of it. And that's probably why, um, the wear looks pretty rough, like, um, from usage, right? So this right here. You can tell that she hasn't used it here, right? Like she's never used these grommets, but the way that she has it stored, it has this dent on it now. But that's, so this is how it was inside of the bag. It was like this. 
So the same thing is happening here where it was stored inside the bag that way. We are not collectors of bags. We are consumer of bags. So wear and tear is understandable. And the bag, when it's being worn, looks amazing. And I'm pretty sure that her preference is to wear it like this and not crossbody. So this is definitely like an armpit bag. It's very close to my armpit, but she's a lot smaller than I am. So I wouldn't opt to wear it this way. I would opt to wear a crossbody um, if I had this bag, okay? First thoughts, I think that if I had it in the canvas material, I would use it a lot more. Uh, I do love it in the leather. I think it's amazing. Um, I do think it's gonna fit quite a bit in there. Uh, once we compare it but I think that I would probably not get a ton of use out of it uh, in the leather and it's ex it is very expensive again it's over three thousand dollars they have one in denim which I would love I mean denim if I had one in denim I would definitely use it uh, but again I wouldn't use it as an armpit bag I would use it as a crossbody so now let's get into coach so here's the coach one I do want to compare the two like side by side. I really don't think they're that similar anymore. When I was looking at them, I thought maybe, but now that I look at them like this, they are just not that similar in my opinion. Um, the silhouette is completely, completely different. These are them on their side and these are them on this on the back. I think that what made me think that they were so similar is the fact that they have a very similar closure. Um, and it's that like little strap over it. But the Coach one does have a zipper where the Gucci one is open. So there is no zipper. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna be doing, like stuff's not gonna fall out of your bag um, because nobody's gonna be carrying them like this. But uh, the Coach one does have a little bit of added security because it has that zipper. Um, you saw on this one how easy it was to get in and out of it. On the Coach one, I have found that that is not the case. Um, I cannot do it. And again, it's because of where it hangs. Watch, it's gonna work now. I'm gonna be able to do it one-handed, but see how I'm still struggling with it and I'm not able to get it on there. When I'm wearing, when I have nails on, can't, I cannot do it. <laughs> I um, It's not that easy. So I feel like I would opt to just keep it like this and I'm not sure whether or not I would like to do that. Um, it is not hard though when you are using two hands and here I am struggling. Um, but I do think that see, like I have to squeeze it a little bit. So I think that if you stuff this bag, this is going to become really hard to work with. So there's that. I think that's a big takeaway. Do I think I will be using this bag? Uh, absolutely. It's gorgeous. I cannot wait to start using it. I just think I got two bags very close together. I am still in the boosie bag that I did my switch out um, earlier in the week. Um, but I will be using this one soon. It came really nicely stuffed. Um, so I do want to take this out. I will, just like I did for the Gucci one, uh, put up the measurements. Uh, while I'm talking about this here, you'll see the measurements up on the screen. And here is the inside. So I, I'm not sure like it actually warrants a big comparison because they are so different. I do think that this one is going to have a much bigger capacity than the coach one. And that is because of this, right? Like this is not going to, you're not going to be able to close this if this is stuffed to like, if you stuff this. All right, so I just want, I got my sunglasses. I just wanted two bulky things to make it like bulky obviously right you would have other things in here but this is just when i make it bulky which i mean a lot of us would it looks it looks good but this is not i'm not going to be able to close this i'm just not i'm gonna have to like well i guess i can i'm gonna have to squeeze it yeah if i squeeze it i can but it it is a struggle oh i scratched it <laughs> doing that look and i put a big scratch on it and I don't even have nails on, but again, I don't care. I did the thing. I do care. I care a little. I did that. I just did that to a bag that I love. 
But okay, anyway, <laughs> um, it's it's gonna scratch up. It is not easy to get in and out of, but um, yeah, it's still gorgeous. I think that to, for beauty, which a lot of the times we do that, this is just a beautiful bag. Um, but I'm not going to do a full comparison between the two because again, I just showed you the side by sides and I really do not think the two compare. I just don't think so. The, the size could be similar, but the capacity of this one is going to be different without the zipper. Um, it's just a different bag. This one has more strap options than this one does. I mean, maybe you can buy another strap that works the same with Coach and still use it crossbody because you could remove this one, but it doesn't come with it. That's not an option you get. But this thing just flopping, flopping there. So yeah, um, if I had to choose, right? If I had to choose, I would still go for the Coach one. And the reason strictly is price. Honestly, I do think the Gucci one is beautiful. Um, if I had it in my collection, I would 100% use it. I just don't think they would be used in the same capacity. I think that if you had this one in leather, um, you could get just as much use for the same type of occasion. And it is going to cost you a much, a very small fraction of the price. I will uh, insert a an annoying math teacher clip here. Anytime someone says a fraction of uh, annoys me because a fraction of a number it is any number. You can write any number as a fraction of another. It does. It could be more than one and then it's a big fraction of that number. So this is a very small fraction of the price of the Gucci. If you wanna know just how much of a fraction, maybe I'll put that here. I'll put the image of what small fraction of the price it is, one versus the other. But um, this is definitely a gorgeously made bag. The leather is super soft. You can tell it's super soft because I just scratched it. Um, do you have to be super careful with it? I don't think so. I think I was just being extra rough with it. And that's just usually not how I am. This one also did come with the dust bag. Um, as you can tell, I've had this for, I don't even know when I did my reveal. It was like two weeks ago or something. So I've had it for like two weeks and I still haven't had the opportunity to use it. I will though, I will 100% use it. You guys know me, I use all my stuff. Um, I always buy it with the intention of using it. The fact that I scratched it before using it is pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. I am, um, I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. It is something that I definitely wanna use. I also just noticed that it has a loose thread at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll, it has a little loose thread right here. I'll probably cut that off. But yeah, I love this bag. I really, really do. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at how it sparkles. I mean, I can use this on New Year's. I can use this all through fall. I can use this during the winter. I can use this over the summer. Um, I think I will definitely be using this quite a bit when I am aching for a small bag. So it will get a lot of use. So I would still pick this one over this one for myself. Not because I own it, but I just don't think that based on the capacity that it has and based on the wear that this one has, um, has I think that I would continue to opt for this one because of that price. Um, I'm not mad at scratching a $200 bag. I'm not, I mean, it's $200, it's still $200, it's not cheap, uh, but I'm not mad at it. If I would have done that on this one before even using it, I would be completely devastated. I will, it would ruin my entire day, it just would. Uh, because it, I would feel like, oh my God, I just threw away um, $3,000. It would be the end of the world for that day. I would come to my senses eventually and tell myself it's not that deep. Uh, but it, it would be something that would cost me uh, stress. I would be stressed about it if I put that kind of damage on a bag like this. As opposed with this one, I can use it as I want. I will say though, I will say that if you have this bag, you are so lucky. Uh, if you have taken the plunge and you have spent the money on this one, it is a fantastic bag. Um, I just, I love it. I really do. Um, that in and out. Would, will I be spending my own money on it? No. Um, am I going to be sad to give it back to my sister? Yes. <laughs> um, but I would not be purchasing this one now that I have this one. This was, this was on my radar 
I think this would have been a great uh, Gucci starter for me. I would have loved it. But I think that now that I have this one, even though they don't really compare, like I said, I don't think they, I don't think the comparison's fair. Um, I think this one will do the job of this one. I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to be honest, right? I think when people are like, oh, it's the same bag. Like it's not, there are bags that are uh, like replicas basically of each other. There are, um, I just don't think that's the case for this one. I don't think one replaces the other. I think that if you want both, if you had both in your collection, I think that would be warranted. <laughs> it would be one of those things like, no, you don't have a duplicate bag. They are definitely different. Um, so I think that would be okay. Uh, just like the Diane and the coach one uh, are pretty much the same bag to me. They have all the same features. The sizes are pretty much to the T, uh, the way that it opens, the way that you carry the straps that it comes with. Um, those are very much similar bags and I do have both but that's because of the color if I were going to get them in similar colors you're you basically have the same bag so I don't think that's the case for this one all right enough rambling I hope that you found this video useful if you are considering either of the two bags uh, my sister does not have a channel but she is so amazing and I love her and um I hope she's not mad at my dissection of her bag but I did promise her I wouldn't use it that I would just give it right back so I will be giving it back to her this week and saying bye to it it, would ju it has just lived with me for two days if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do I can't wait to see you and just keep going on the conversation. If you would like to see any part of my collection or you have any questions, always leave them in the comments because I'm more than happy to do so. I will see you on the next one. Bye.